up, YouTube land? My name is Boy Boy Five Six Nine Nine. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the premiere live. Welcome to the premiere live, and welcome back to part two of My Hero Academia, My Hero Academia, My My Hero Academia collection. Now, for this video, last video yesterday, I posted a collection of my Funko Pops, which you can't see, but they're standing right there. And so today, in this video, it's a kind of a little bit smaller collection of My Hero Academia, but I'm going to show off my My Hero Academia Blu-ray DVD collection. Now, uh. My Hero Academia DVDs are hell of expensive. Where do you buy them from? Finstock, Walmart, uh, Crunchyroll website, anywhere that sells My Hero Academia DVDs. They are not really, uh, it's not like arm and leg expensive, but you're going to spend at least a good 40, 30, 40, 50 bucks for sure. Uh, but luckily I got a couple of the, uh, I got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventy uh, Blu-rays, uh, containing season one, two, three, season one and two, three and four and five, half of season five and two, uh, of the theatrical release movies, uh, so we um, we're gonna take a look. We're gonna go by one one by, and I'm gonna show my uh, deep Blu-ray My Hero Academia collection. If you wanted to see part one of this video, I would put the link in the description of My Hero Academia, my My Hero Academia collection, or I put it in the bubble right there or there, wherever the bubble is thing in the video. But anyway, let's jump right into it. So the first one I'm gonna show you off is the show, uh, series that started it all, uh, My Hero Academia season uh, one. Now, luckily, season one only had about 13 episodes, a typical season for a crunchy, raw Funimation anime series. Uh, but season two and three have totals of, like, 30, uh, 25, 30 episodes. Uh, but this is season one. I've sat through all of season one and absolutely love season one. Um, but very cool of how De it has Deku going from getting his quirk to training to get him to go to training to get to the exams to getting into UA High and stuff like that. So very, very cool. I really love the DVD uh, slipcover for this. You got the front, spine. And the back with the slipcover with season one, you got pretty much all uh, all the main characters on there, and you got the, of course, of course, you got the slipcover and everything, and of course, this is made by Funimation or Crunchyroll, the same people who do High School DxD and you know, all the animes I've watched. I don't think I've ever stepped out of any anime that's not Funimation or Crunchyroll. If I find an anime and it's not by Funimation or Crunchyroll, I just skip it. So, but this is season one of My Hero Academia. Same thing as the back, but the back, you got uh, back ago. Um, all Might and Deku on this one, and you got Ida, Ochako, and Deku on this two, and of course you got a couple more characters on this three, this four, this contains Blu-ray, oh, regular and DVD, so that's regular DVD, regular DVD, Blu-ray, Blu-ray, and Blu-ray, and that's just regular extra DVDs and everything, so very, very neat and cool, and of course one of the things I love about Funimation Blu-ray DVD, of course that one's a little bit broken, so I'm not going to show you guys, but I'll show you the different one, but as My Hero Academia Season 1 on Blu-ray. Now the next one I just opened up because it's been boxed for like a year and of course I'm talking about My Hero Academia Season 2 Part 1. Now as, as I said that uh, Season 2 and 3 so far My Hero Academia are a lot. So in the newer, se newer DVDs, newer season DVD, I think there's about 25 to 30 episodes in each season now minus Season 1. So this is Part 1 of uh, My Hero Academia. Season 2 Part 1 of My Hero Academia Majority of the season, this season, it talks about the 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 the, um, the games that they do, the, like the Olympic things. Uh, you know what I'm talking about if you watch the series. Of course, um, of course, I didn't want Bakugo to win. Of course, spoiler alert: Bakugo does win, and he's a sore loser about it for whatever reason, because he's a fucking prick. Um, but uh, this is season two. You got front, all mine on the back, and everything on the back, slip cover and everything made by Funimation, and of course, the reel of the DVD. You get, I think this is just Blu-ray Blu DVD combo packs. You got DVD, Blu-ray, Blu-ray, and then, yeah. Actually, I don't think there's a DVD. Oh, nope, just DVD. So, uh, but you got the digital copy and everything. And as I'm trying to say before, one of the reasons I like Funimation Blu-ray DVDs is that they have a cool back art style. When you take the disc off, it has cool animation art and everything. So, like this one, let me see if I can find it. Like this one, it's just Japanese words and everything. So it's very, very cool and everything. I really like the styles on uh, Funimation DVDs, especially if you get the very expensive, cool kinds. So, but anyway, this is um, My Hero Academia Season 2, Part 1. Uh, next up, we actually have Season 2, Part 2. As I said, this continues the, uh, this Part two contains like a uh, them going to their um, tr um, internships. That's what it's called. And basically, which goes uh, all these class, all these characters in class one A go to each internship, whether it be the news, whether it be All Might, All Might's Apprentice, Mount Lady, 
uh, midnight, so on and so forth, and everything like that. And so uh, you got the slipcover course. Like I said, it's costing an arm and a leg. If this DVD itself, let alone part two of season two, costs thirty bucks. Like I said, it's not really, really expensive, but it's not going to cost you an arm and leg. But it's also not on the cheap side either. So you got the slipcover and everything. Uh, season two, part two. Of course, you got uh, Fumiki, um, Momo, Deku, and Sue, and everything. Of course, you got the digital uh, cover, a uh, digital version as well, which. You know, people are like, I like physical media. I like digital media for stuff I don't have, which DVDs are too expensive. But, of course, I will always stand by physical media. I will support stores like Vintage Dog. Uh, I supported Hastings for a very long time in high school before they went out of business a long time ago, which it sucks that they, they have been out of business for about seven, eight years. And now, at the longest time we only had was Game Exchange, and they were outrageous prices, selling used games for brand new prices. Uh, then Vintage Stocks open up, and Vintage Stock, it's all my business. Fuck Game Exchange. Uh, but this is Season 2, Part 2 of My Hero Academia. Next up we got is actually a Walmart exclusive, because it says Crunchyroll on there. But we got Season 3 and 4 of Hero, My Hero Academia. Now, uh, I got this as a birthday gift uh, last year that I, I finally opened up. I showed it in my 23rd, uh, 24th birthday video. Uh, but I managed to get a... Um, my Hero Academia Season 3 and 4 on Blu-ray from the Walmart exclusive. Uh, of course, I'm halfway through Season 3 and I'm really enjoying it so far. I've enjoyed all the shows in My Hero Academia. It's got this really cool box. I got to sneeze but I can't get it out. It got this really cool box art cover with the spine and everything. And of course, you get Season 3, which All Might about gave up, almost died during his fight, but he's able to come back and win. And, um, and then, of course, DVDs fall out and everything. Of course, you got really likable characters. You like like the slip cover. You got all my in style and everything. You got a Chaco, Ida, and Dis Two, Mina, and Dis Three, and whoever that lad is. I can't remember his name. And of course, you got Bakugo and Deku in the back and everything on the back side. So and then season four, you got a different character. I'm not into season four yet, but I'm getting there eventually. And this one, I don't know who he is. You got Zawa, Eraserhead, Zawa. If I can get the damn disc in there. And of course, this one has. I think that's. It's not all mine. I don't think it's all mine. I know it is. It's not all mine. So, but anyway, that is season three and four of My Hero Academia, which I got from Walmart exclusives. I think you can still get it on the shelf at Walmart if you go to Walmart. I know my Walmart still does it, so very, very cool. Next up, we got. It's my last one of the series. It's My Hero Academia season five, part one. Luckily, I was a found, found a good copy on eBay for very, very cheap. Because the Funimation website is selling it, this one, for like 50 bucks, or you can get a or get the badass copy for like 80 bucks. That is if you're not a Crunchyroll subscription member. If you get a Crunchyroll subscription member, premium subscription member, you get 15% off and free shipping. So thumbs up for that. That's what I do. Thumbs up for that. And so you got Season 5 Part 1. Like I said, I'm not into Season 5 yet. Still got a ways to go before watching Season 5. Uh, let alone this is Part 1. I know Part 2... Uh, season 5 Part 2 also has an expensive um, DVD, Blu-ray expensive. So you got this with a pretty cool cover. I like the cover on this. And of course, you got the digital copy. You got Deku, um, guy who can read your mind, uh, Bakugo, and Ochako. And of course, this one's probably my favorite because it's got comic book style on it. So very Or manga if you're an anime and everything. So that's very, very cool. And then the last two I have to show you guys is the two movies I have that released from uh, uh, released to theater, theatrical releases. The first two ones, Two Heroes and Hero Rising. Now I ordered off. Well, I got one from Vinstock, and of course I ordered the first one from um, fr uh, Crunchyroll website. And, I, and of course you can tell that this one hasn't been open. Um, like I said, I've been so busy with work and other stuff, I just haven't had time to open my new DVDs and everything like that. So, but this is the first My Hero Academia movie, but luckily this one was used at Vintage Dog. So we're going to show these, open it up with the slipcover and everything. So you can tell the juice because DVDs drop the fuck out. Because people take so good care of their fucking DVDs and everything. So, but anyway, you got the uh, feature film on regular DVD and you got um, Heroes on uh, the, um, the uh, Blu-ray. So, or, yeah. Yeah, you can tell people take really good care of this DVD because this will not shut whatsoever. Oh well, but anyway, those are my last two DVDs I have for you guys, which is Hero Rising and Two Heroes. So that's, that is in the part two of my Hero Academia collection. That was the Blu-ray collection I have 
Uh, stay tuned tomorrow, and you will see the final part of my manga books. So, of my hair academia. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, rate it a thumbs up, comment down, subscribe, comment down below, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.